The Encounter Billy was on the way to his grandmother's house which passes through a thick forest filled with wild animals. It was a thirty-minute ride. Nothing to worry Billy thought since his childhood he had been passing through the road and knew the area so well. His parents often used to drop him off but this time he wanted to go alone, he recently bought a new bike with his own money and wanted to see his grandma's reaction. That day it was quite foggy and hard to see the road. He started his journey and everything was going fine until his new bike broke down in the forest and there was no sign of a single human being. He noticed the fog was getting thicker and thicker. He managed to call a mechanic and send his location, he waited for an hour and the mechanic was still not coming and to his demise there was no service available. Billy was getting restless and decided to move ahead as he was pushing his bike he heard something which sounded like a human screaming. He sensed that it was getting closer, his legs and hands started to shiver, in a moment he panicked and ran away leaving his bike behind. He ran and ran until he couldn't hear the sound. After he calmed down he realized he was in the forest, he tried to retrace his path but he was not able to. He walked for twenty minutes which felt like an eternity and then again he heard the same blood-curdling scream, his whole body froze. In front of him a big mountain lion with blood on its face was watching him analyzing his every move. Billy was sure that he was not going to survive and hoped that the beast wouldn't devour his head. As Billy was thinking of a plan, the mountain lion suddenly stood up with its hind legs, its face morphing to that of a human and its claws starting to elongate and resembling a human hand, the beast howled and the whole forest echoed back. The beast approached Billy slowly with its eyes getting darker. When Billy saw the beast he tried to run but was unable to, tears flowing through his eyes, he could no longer hold the stress and fainted at the spot. When he gained consciousness he was laying down, dried tears on his cheeks, in the road with his bike next to him and the fog had cleared. Billy stood up and checked his phone, he couldn't believe it was the next day and twenty hours had passed since his arrival to the forest. He checked his bike and miraculously it was working, without taking any time he hopped onto the bike and drove like someone was chasing him. He couldn't explain what happened to him and what he saw.